1999, this entire side of the grove used to be citrus. There were all types of citrus trees. Uh, we had everything from key lime to Persian lime to all sorts of oranges and even pomelo. Um, but unfortunately, uh, Florida was not a great place for citrus. Uh, just a few years later, uh, citrus canker and citrus greening came into the grove. And I think it was by 2005, we had to take out all of the trees. Uh, we did that all ourselves because they had a program uh, where they were going around and taking out people's citrus trees in South Florida, but it ran out of money. Uh, so yeah, that was a lot of work and um, we miss our citrus. But the thing about citrus in Florida is that people do still want to grow it. And I've heard of many frustrated people, they pick up a, a citrus tree at a garden center and plant it and there's just nothing but trouble. They try and baby it. There are some people who are successful in growing it, uh, but it's generally not rewarding. Um, but I've heard that down at Trek, they are doing some studies on what kinds of citrus might be able to be grown in Florida. So we're gonna go check that out. And this is a seedling block, actually. So these are all grafted, but they're seedlings that are grafted onto, particular seedlings grafted onto a rootstock. And so uh, were, were you doing a breeding program to get certain actually characteristics Actually, the, the, the lead on this program is Manjul Dutt, Dr. Dutt, and he is a researcher at the Citrus Research and Education Center in Lake Alfred. Mm -hmm. And he's been selecting and, and breeding, and so he asked if he could put in a replicate planting down here. We said, sure. Yeah, he could do it at my place too. <laughs> so yeah, so he did. And we're basically, this is year three uh, after it's been planted. And we had a field day recently about it. Um, and we, out of these, all these selections, he's made two that they've named now and released. They patented and named them. Um, and so they have flags on them. This is one of them. Um, and I, I hate That's to tell you, I, no, it's not. Well, okay, so well, the rootstock nice, that they used nice is not well fruit. adapted for our calcareous soil here. So that was something we didn't have control of. If we were going to do this again, I would have suggested certain rootstocks, probably citrus macrophylla, to put them on that because it's, it's much better adapted to our soil. This has some of the flying dragon genes in it and, and tends to end up you know, with more chlorosis. Um, but it seems to be producing. Um, so you said the, the seedling, uh, seedlings were grafted onto rootstock. How old were the seedling trees? Was it like fairly new uh, sprouts that were, I mean, because this is pretty quick to get yeah. uh, fruit from a Tell seedling. you the truth, I do not know how old they were yeah. when he did this. No, I, no problem, but yeah, yeah it's, it's just curious because this so particular this is, tree has a ton of fruit on yeah. it. And this oh, is good. We got this it's... is what it looks like. Now, the darker the color, the better. Um, yeah, you have to get scratched to get the real dark ones, I think. <laughs> yeah, this one's pretty dark. Um, so yeah. But in any event, you can see, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I sacrifice this hand. Yes. Oh, it wasn't as dark as I thought. It nope. was in the shadows. Is that, I mean... Well, no, that's, that's fine. That's... No, they're not as dark as they could be. I don't, oh, oops. I don't know what's going on here. Well, this workshop we had was... Okay, here we go. This is a lot, quite a bit better. Okay. Interestingly, you see there's a few little seeds. So because they're probably crossing uh, I'm not sure. So it's like, what do they call it, like citrus caviar or something like that? Citrus caviar, <laughs> used mostly, um, mostly in, in, um, garnish, things like that. That's very common. Um, 
Too. And this is a little bit riper, the darker yes. the red there. So yes. we have two different levels of ripeness. Yep. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a fun little food. Yeah. Uh, you know, I know that you're growing these because they are resistant to uh, the <laughs> greening and, yeah. uh, you know, I'm, it, I'm assuming canker also. No, I, that I don't know about. I haven't seen canker on it, but uh, Dr. Dutt did tell us two things. Some of the trees are actually resistant to greening. Some of the trees just tolerate it so well you don't even see symptoms. Hmm. So, so it's a combination of one or the other. But yeah, they seem to do okay in the presence. That's probably pretty tart, right? Yeah, um, you know, I, I like it, but it's, uh, you know, I'm wondering, apart from being a very fancy um, <laughs> sort of decoration on a tray, uh, edible decoration uh, right. on a uh, very nice dinner plate, uh, <laughs> what would you use it for? Um, it's used in, in, with making cocktails. Mm -hmm. And so, so it would be put in the cocktail um, or... Fa fancy drinks and fa yes. fancy eats. <laughs> and fancy eats, yes. You know, put it on top of fish or something like that. And so it more of a garnish type situation, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. tasty. I, and you said that the seeds are... are I'm not sure not, about the seeds. Um, they're, it's not typical to have the seeds? Yeah, usually... Um, well, you know, when you have a, a seedling block like this, you can get a lot of crossing, so it's not selfing. Mm -hmm. So if it was selfing, I'm not sure how much in the way of there would be reduced seeds compared to in a block where you've got all these different ones mm -hmm. crossing and they tend... It's like uh, Tahiti lime. If you have a solid Tahiti lime block, you probably find no seeds whatsoever. However, if you're growing Tahiti lime trees with oranges and other things, you'll probably find a few seeds uh, in the fruit, but it'd be, you know, one in a thousand fruit. Mm -hmm. So. That's my point, is that it, it, in this mix, it's probably more seedy than if it was just solid, yeah. Um, this is the other one here. It's a very nice look to it. Yeah, it's a nice form, right? Yeah, very healthy looking. Ah, let's see. I hope this is... Oh, so this is, oh, oh wow, a yeah. yeah, lot, yeah, lot yeah, darker. Yeah. yeah. I guess I have to... Still pretty tart. Could be that I just don't know when to pick it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it does have a different flavor than the other. Yes, doesn't it? Mm hmm Yep. See, they're coming off really easy, so that's why it's fooling me. I'm not sure what's... Hmm. Very dark. Yeah, it is. It's got a nice color to it. I don't know if this is better. Well, a little bit better. Still pretty tart. But anyway, you know, people are always looking for alternatives, um, especially in South Florida. And so this is one alternative people are looking at. Yeah, I, I've heard a lot of chatter about this. Uh, and it's, you know, it is a very different fruit, but there's, it's a, a very familiar flavor because mm -hmm. of you know being limes and such right. uh or lime-ish right um and it also would be a great um plant to put as a um, protection for your property yeah <laughs> it <laughs> because could. it does have a lot of thorns right right you know you could plant it pretty close and have a hedge yeah you know and i've seen it actually grown in a hedge type planting uh in california mm -hmm. um, they had it in rows like this but they also had it along the property line, uh, along the driveway, as a solid hedge, probably just for what you were talking <laughs> yeah. about. It, it discourages just about anybody. <laughs> right. Yes. Um, so anyway, you've, you've done this, uh, you've been growing out these finger limes for a while, and yeah. you basically haven't really noticed any disease problems. Right? No, no. And we, don't tr we haven't treat him, treated them with anything other than fertilizer and water. Um, and in fact, he's going to be sending us some more. So we'll probably be adding on to this, uh, replacing some of the ones that, that haven't made it, that died. Um, because there's, there's interest. I mean, there's, there's interest and it's a potential. So we'll see. Great. Okay.